Hello, Mioni here and welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV news video, this time for 5.3 series and basically the update today was a very minor one to the special site but I thought this was worth looking at anyway. On the right side of the screen you'll see the green nodules will actually tell you new updated stuff. What I can tell you though, the only thing to be updated on, in terms of the storyline section is actually that they've decided to put a picture of the Seat of Sacrifice Extreme um, with of course the Warrior of Light on the front there. So I guess they don't really see this as a spoiler anymore. It says, Bearing the hopes for the world's salvation, a mighty hero shall rise up against the Warrior of Darkness in a battle to, d to determine the very fate of this star. His name, the Warrior of Light. And there we go. There's beautiful images, of course, of that fight, which I personally love. I can't wait to actually get a clear on this. This is still something I haven't got a clear on on the extreme, uh, but we should have this on Sunday, if I remember correctly. Very cool fight, but they've decided that the embargo is completely a thing of the past now, and you can totally talk about the end of patch 5.3. So there we go. The other thing that you'll see here on the Puppets Bunker, they've actually added one last slide to the end of this, which is actually a high-resolution shot of the rewards from the Puppets Bunker, including obviously 2P and 2B minions, which I still have yet to get, and the beautiful glamour, or should I say actual gear, since it has useful stats for some people, or their, at least their ults, or some of them. And uh, so you can actually look at what they all look like on various races in the game with the certain gender combinations and yeah i i personally still love this new mask idea i think that's fantastic so yeah you can you can access that if you want to so you might be asking why was this really updated well that was for the ishgard restoration which has finally been updated and obviously we've read this text before and we've seen this image before, but what we've not seen is this image in particular. So this is introducing yet again another two parasols into the game. These are obviously your, uh, what do we call this, your checkerboard. What is this? It's cheesecloth or something? What do you actually call this stuff? It's not tartan, it's not cheesecloth, it's... It's just a specific pattern, isn't it? You'd have this as like picnic cloth. Well anyway, there's a red one that's like checkerboard, and a blue one that's checkerboard, and Obviously, these are going to be rewards from the Ishgard Restoration, most likely either from Kupo or Fortune, or from the direct exchange of scripts uh, for the collectibles. Those should be pretty easy to get. What I do like about these is the nice wooden um, wooden handle, at least this time, and a wooden uh, you know stand thing. What do you call this? A stem? A stem up to the spokes there of the umbrella itself. I like the uh, the parasols personally, so as much as these are fairly basic looking, I'm sure that some people would like to have them in their collection. A lot of people are actually doing glamour to match parasols, that's something that maybe we could look at in the future as well. On the other page we also have this beautiful looking set. Now I would imagine that this is actually sort of like Ishgardian glamour. How cool does this look? I mean, I could be wrong, this could be like some crafting stuff, but it really does look like it's a glamour set. What I love is the f a sort of feathered cap there, these sort of like warm muffs around the gloves there, and sort of trailed blue hair or whatever, <laughs> fluffy hair or whatever, around the top of those boots. Very nice. Hopefully this is a dyeable set. Um, I do like that quite a bit. I think it's quite nice. It's definitely sort of like Ishgardian sort of like nobility kind of outfit or something or you know the sort of thing that you you would see francis wear or some of the other nobility in ishgard itself so i really like that but that's pretty much the two images for that um the only other additions are actually down right at the bottom where you can actually see high resolution images uh, if you were to open these, by the way, they would be absolutely enormous. So they're great for desktop wallpapers, or if you want a chroma key out of a white, you can, you know, make a collage or something. But we also have, obviously, 2B there, and um, some other robots from there. And that's a massive spoiler for the boss, obviously. But then, obviously, we have uh, all of the gear sets as well. These are high-resolution images. So, again, if you wanted to access these and look at the different 
pieces of gear. No doubt they'll end up using these in a future art book, I would imagine. And there's 2B at the end and 2P. But yes, that's pretty much it. I thought it was still worth sharing because I like it whenever they update stuff. Let me know what you think. Do you like these parasols? Do you have a red sort of autumn glamour to go with this red one or maybe the blue one? I know a lot of people who will be trying to mix something to go with those. Or are you all about this brand new glamour set that's clearly Ishgardian related and would look pretty good on my character? I think, I think, uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think below about any of these new updates coming in patch 5.31, and I'll see you all next time.